Hey guys, today we are going to do the first installment of a series that we're gonna do that are our pro tips. So Brad and I have been parents for over 10 years now. We're about to have an 11 year old this year and we have by no means like arrived when it comes to parenting. But having five kids over 10 years has shown us a few areas where we have decided to change the script a little bit and take things back to traditional. So today we're gonna to pro tip Valentine's Day. So typically over the last 10 years, we have done kind of what everybody else is doing. We brought home candy, we brought home cards, maybe a stuffed animal, um, sometimes you know a gift of some kind. But what we quickly realized as we had more and more children was we were accumulating more and more stuff, so much stuff. And it seemed like our children thought that each year was a setting the bar type situation. And so then the next year would have to top that. And what we found out was it was exhausting for us and not quite healthy for them. And so we really wanted to start focusing on changing that and bringing our whole household to a more minimalist state where we are not overwhelmed with, you know, spending an hour and a half helping the kids try to pick up all of the stuff that they've accumulated. So one thing that we have started trying to do is bring experiences to our children rather than stuff. So I wanna to talk to you about our Valentine's Day. So my mom is a wonderful grandma, and my children are her only grandchildren so far. And so she loves to send them a grandma box for holidays. And so this year, she sent them a wonderful box that had the sound of music so they could experience a movie that she grew up loving and a story that all of our children need to know about. Um, and then she sent them pencils and glue and stuff to actually make Valentine's, which is so great. Um, and so my kids actually got to have a craft day and they made all of these adorable little Valentines and even the boys <clears throat> got involved and loved doing that. Um, so they made those and were actually able to bring each other and my husband and I gifts um, for Valentine's Day. So this is really the first year that they've actually had something to actually give. So that was super fun. Um, and so we decided that we were going to do a big breakfast. So my husband went out this morning and he bought roses for the girls and each one of them had a little mason jar with a rose at their seat. And then we rolled out some white paper and he cut their little paper towels into hearts and then we drew We Love You with their name and drew some hearts on it. Um, and then we hung a red sparkly garland from the lighting in the kitchen over where they sit and we made them breakfast from scratch. And what was so special about that was there was nothing to unwrap. There was nothing for them to hug and hold and run away with. That's theirs. But we all spent about two hours in the kitchen together this morning just talking and preparing food for them and serving them. And so that is our really our first transition for them with a holiday of moving into an experience as a family instead of moving into more expectations for more stuff. So I hope that you guys have had a wonderful Valentine's Day, and I hope that you haven't put too much pressure on yourself. I was just reading on social media last night. Um, a friend of mine was talking about how she was seeing all of these beautiful Valentine's boxes and all of these elaborate preparations, and certainly there's nothing wrong with that. I applaud every mother for any effort that she puts out, or every father for any effort that he puts out to bring a loving experience to your children for Valentine's Day. Whether that's going out and serving other people or whether that is taking care of it right inside your own home. But I don't want anybody to feel like I know a lot of moms and I myself have felt throughout the years inadequate for, you know, just making sure that your kid got their name on 20 Valentines for their class. So I hope that this gives you a breath of fresh air and I hope that it kind of sets you free from that stigma that you have to go over the top and always have a gift and always do those things. Our kids were thrilled and I know that they're gonna be looking forward to the next Valentine's Day breakfast.